Hey guys, Reese here from Psalm 7117, and you're watching the Book of Ruth in 3 minutes. The Book of Ruth is yet another interesting change of tone in the Old Testament. Verse 1 of chapter 1 tells us that this is still during the time of the Judges, but the book doesn't focus solely on the Israelite people. Rather, these four chapters of the Bible tell us the basic story of how one family was affected by this time period. In chapter 1, we're introduced to a man named Elimelech and his wife, Naomi. They have two sons who go on to have wives of their own, but as we learn in verses 4 and 5 of chapter 1, Elimelech and the two sons die, leaving Naomi with her two daughters-in-law. Naomi, devastated, decides to return home to Bethlehem, imploring her daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth, to depart from her. Orpah reluctantly agrees to and goes on living her own life, but Ruth declines the offer and insists on staying with Naomi in verses 16 and 17. At the beginning of chapter 2, we're introduced to a relative of Naomi's named Boaz. Boaz is actually a descendant of the harlot Rahab from the city of Jericho, which we learned about in the book of Joshua. Ruth petitions Boaz, asking him to allow her to go through his fields after his gleaners and pick up the wheat and grain that they leave behind, which he agrees to. In fact, Boaz favors Ruth so that he ends up telling his gleaners to purposefully leave behind wheat and grain for her to pick up and take to Naomi. When Naomi realizes that Ruth has met Boaz, she understands that he might be their salvation. Because he's a close relative and because of the kindness that he had shown to them, Naomi decides to have Boaz redeem both her and Ruth. And that's how we're led into chapter 3, in which Naomi gives Ruth very detailed instructions on how to gain the favor of Boaz. Ruth does as Naomi asks and pleads for Boaz to take both her and Naomi under Boaz's wing. Verses 10 and 11 of chapter 3 record Boaz's response. They say, Then he said, Blessed are you of the Lord, my daughter, for you have shown more kindness at the end than at the beginning, in that you did not go after young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, do not fear. I will do for you all that you request, for all the people of my town know that you are a virtuous woman. Boaz goes on to take Ruth as his wife in chapter 4, and it's there that we learn another very important descendant would come out of the lineage of Rahab. Verse 22 continues listing the descendants, and it reads, Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David. David is, of course, one of the most important characters of the Old Testament, and he would come from the lineage of Ruth and Boaz. But that is a story for another day.